Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Prices on this market are crashing once again, and it's just simply because the La Liga team of the season is insane and the prices of those cards continue to drop so everybody wants to use the brand new fresh tots cards because they're so cheap and everybody's changing up their teams and selling their old teams and that's why you're seeing such a drop on the market because the content and the players that we are getting in this team of the season are just super cracked so i want to take a look at why stuff is dropping once again kind of talk through it all today and look at some of the most absurd price drops I've seen in a long time on some of these TOTS cards that are in packs, that are out of packs. It was just a day filled of pain yesterday if you owned cards and watched their prices drop. I lost a lot of coins yesterday trying to be smart, trying to be risky and flip a couple cards and it cost me greatly. So as you can tell, I'm trying to make that back up because the coin total is low. We're trying to some flips, trying to make some investments to hopefully see a bit of a rise on just some areas of the market while the rest of this stuff just goes down bad. So I want to take a look at that. And then today, right today on Sunday, we're going to have brand new team of the season cards in this game. Cards like Taliska and Real Mourinho of Saudi League Tots are going away. By the way, it's horrendous. This guy is 450k when he was 1.2 mil literally three days ago. How crazy is that? Anyways, um, we're getting Liga Nos today in packs with some pretty good looking cards. I'll take a look at some stat predictions. Uh, and it, it is a leak, but their stats predicted leaks. So also today we should have an Icon Moments Upgrade SBC replacing the 92 plus, but it probably won't be the player pick unless EA drop a surprise on us today as well. And I still think there's some room to invest in SBC fodder. We'll talk about that in today's video as well. So if you're losing coins right now and you're like, Nate, what in the world is going on? Just hit the thumbs up on the video. We're going to get through it together. I wore a green shirt today to try to just, you know, provoke some some good thoughts and green and posit positivity, like making coins. That's why I'm wearing a green shirt. Anyways, like the video, subscribe if you're new. I want to show you some of these price drops. You're like, Nate, I don't really need to see these. Well, we, we, we need to look at them because it's absolutely crazy as we talk about why this stuff is going on. And this is why it's going on. These La Liga Tots cards are so cheap and they're so cracked. And the SBCs we've been getting, the objective cards are so good that everybody is just transforming their teams in with these La Liga Tots cards. Militao, 415,000 coins. I know that people were buying him on Friday night at like 500K. He went up to 540, 550, and then he absolutely got throttled down to 400K with panic selling, with the, the lightning rounds, and just with the whole team being so cheap. And again, we mentioned it in yesterday's video too. The basis of why these cards are so, so cheap is because of that token pack that was in the store that basically everybody went out and bought with either FIFA points or coins on the weekend to get the tot swap token and just to open that pack, but more so to get that token. But that's why you're seeing so many of these cards get so cheap. And then of course, with more lightning rounds, the 28% lightning rounds or whatever they're called, uh, that are La Liga specific. I mean, just, just take a look at some of these, more, more of these drops from the last day. Who's a good card to click on? Uh, Pedri. Pedri was 2 million coins on Friday night. 1.8 mil, he went up to about 1.9, 1.95. He went all the way down into the one fives. And he's, he's back at 1.6 mil. So crazy drops in price. Modric was like 900K. He's now 750. And this is only be the beginning, right? These are the cards that are in packs. If we take a look at out of pack special cards, again, this has to be one of the biggest drops in such a short time period that I've ever seen. I mean, lads, this guy on Wednesday was 1.2 million coins. This Anderson Taliska card. Look at Friday, Friday morning. Wait, is that Friday? Yeah, 930,000 coins. He went down to 790, bounced back up to 900. I bought Taliska last night at 750 because he would drop down from 900K. I was like, all right, this guy is going to go back up over 800 overnight, and then he's going to do well, right? Taliska ended up going all the way down to 530,000 coins. He went back to 600, and now he's 455 before going out of packs today. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous how cheap that Taliska card is. He's also decently rare. But again, before you run and go invest in that card, just remember that once again today, we are having brand new TOTS cards dropped on the game. So, you know, is this Taliska really, really low and potentially good to flip and trade with? Yes, but this is the card that literally lost me over 1 million coins yesterday on this game. So I got some beef with this Taliska guy right now, and I hope that he rises up. I would like to buy a few more if he gets cheap enough. 
But I don't know, man. I, I have PTSD with Talisca right now because I lost a lot of coins on him. You know, it just made sense. It's a good flip. He was down so much, and then he just got absolutely destroyed today on this game. So, anyways, back to looking at which uh, of these cards have just dropped down so much in price. If you bought any Bundesliga Tots cards for your team, RIP, 710 for Kimmich, 217 for Davies. Jude Bellingham is 2.5 mil. After being 3.4 on Thursday, he's down almost a million coins from where he was like four days ago. This whole entire team is dropping. Only like Diaby has somewhat maintained his price. Um, Holland's 300k, Lewandowski's 540. I did flip a couple Lewandowski's overnight last night, so he did make me some coins. Um, taking a look through some of the rest of the cards, Premier League tots. What? 4.2 for Ronaldo. Another guy that's down a million coins since Thursday. My goodness. I mean, we knew this stuff was going to drop. We were talking about it with how insane the Tots cards were looking with the leaks. If you sold any of the top tier stuff, GG's. Van Dyke is 520. Sun is 560. Kevin De Bruyne is 760. Like the drops are literally everywhere across the market, and especially on some of these Tots cards because. Just the, the the La Liga hype and these cards are so so hyped up. Wow, Lacazette, 300K. Again, the one thing I will say is the cards that are maintaining the value really well right now are your La Liga out-of-pack specials because people have bought those. There's, there's no panic selling with those, right? They still have a lot of demand as people are going out and buying them and putting them in their teams. As a matter of fact, I just sold a Foot Hero Captain's Milito who I, I was buying these at like 290 um, like last week. He's, he's up to 400,000 coins. He just slowly keeps rising up in price. The Busquets that we just looked at, right? I bought Busquets for 140 and I sold too early. He's now 310,000 coins because of the Fati objective, because of all the Barcelona and the Spanish links. Your La Liga out of pack specials are doing fantastic. So those are the cards right now that are really not dropping that much in price, but that's just because they're in very high demand as people still build teams um, and are putting those La Liga players into their sides. Again, it's just the cheapness and how hype these La Liga Tots cards are and how good the content is as well. People are just building teams around guys like Isco, Ansu Fati, uh, and players like even Dan Juma. Yesterday's SBC was a pretty solid card uh, that we had through SBC yesterday. Five-star weak foot upgrade, four-star skills, high medium, only like 130K to complete. Not a very bad card at all. I wish they would have made him central. Um, and if he would have been like a striker, that would have been really good with the five-star weak foot. I feel like most people will probably pl try to play him at striker. I'm kind of getting like Jota vibes, not going to lie, with this type of card, just by the way that he looks in his stats. So kind of a similar card to Jota. Maybe you would play him at striker in-game. But that was solid content uh, from yesterday as well. Now, again, I, I mentioned this crash being at least kind of similar and sort of... Uh, you know, copy and paste and similar to the Premier League market crash that we saw a couple weeks ago. Don't mind me as I bid on a Renato Sanchez real to the final here as a card that has dropped just like the rest of the market. A lot of these League One specials are down. Just kind of watching a few of them, right? Seeing where they go, maybe potentially buying into a few of them uh, because League One is next and, and League One has a lot of hype. So if I can't get this for less than, you know, 495, that's my final, final offer on the transfer market. Um, but I do think if you remember guys, like taking a look at these prices from a couple weeks ago, like let's use, let's use Marcelo for an example. This might be a good one. So Marcelo was up at 1.5 million coins and then Prem Tots comes out he drops all the way down to 1.3. And then we saw the market rebound back a lot last week during Bundesliga team of the season. But that was mostly just because, uh, the market was really quiet, right? It was a really, really quiet week on the market. Even Cordoba, 490. That's crazy. But he was 630, went back up to, sorry, he was 620s, went back up a little bit to 650. Uh, those probably aren't the best examples right there. But for a lot of cards in this game, that was kind of the fluctuation with the Prem Tots being so hype and so um, just creating a lot of havoc on the market a couple weeks ago. Like a lot of cards on the market were really low on like Monday to Tuesday after the upgrade packs came out and before the Prem Tots guaranteed, that's when you saw a lot of stuff on the game get really, really low. And then your out of pack specials for the next upcoming Tots. So Bundesliga Tots cards started to rise, you know, Monday, Tuesday as the market picked back up as well. So, you know, as we're taking a look through the rest of this weekend, could the market drop more? And I think 
the easiest way to answer this did i win that on bid oh let's go chat i did renato 495 i will take that the easiest way to look at things right now in the market is will some of these cards like a de bruyne uh or a maybe taliska as well as an example or you know a kimmich tots some of those tots from the bundesliga and from the premier league that are out of packs could these continue to drop a little bit as the market maybe keeps falling with everybody finishing their weekend league, selling off some teams, and then buying players to go and link in their teams with their new La Liga Tots cards? I do think that you could see prices falling even lower uh, today on Sunday on some areas of the market, but I do think you're going to see some other areas start to pick up as well as people look to invest um, in maybe still some La Liga special cards that are not up that much yet or League One special cards. That's going to be a very popular place to invest here um, pretty soon on the market, I think. But I think for a lot of the rest of the market, for some of these cards, you could still see them go a bit lower just because, again, think about where the hype is right now with cards in this game. The hype is with the La Liga Tots cards and with that type of content. And these cards, which were hyped two weeks ago, are kind of falling behind now um, as people are looking towards the brand new, the fresh and all that stuff. And especially as we get upgrade packs, maybe another icon SBC today that could create some potential market fluctuations. Um, and, you know, some prices could go down. But then again, like I, like I said, a lot of times for the out of pack specials for that next upcoming league. So league one specials. That's why you see me really checking prices on a lot of these cards. Um, you know, our didn't really get low enough for me tonight to buy. I'm, I'm kind of picky on these prices. Like I know that people have already been investing in some of these sorts of cards. Uh, and it's a little bit tough too with the, with league one upcoming, we don't have a vote to go off of. Now, actually some people might say it's easier because they think EA will base the actual League One team in the season off of the performance-based League One team in the season that was voted on, same place that we vote for like League One Player of the Month. There was a vote. Oh my gosh, Ben Yedder's 640. That's really low. Uh, there was a there was a team that was released, kind of like the the UNFP's uh, team of the season. Uh, so maybe they'll base the actual team of the season in FIFA off of that. But I think that's the part of the market that has the most promise. And, and maybe, you know, also some of these Tots cards that are going out of packs, like the Anderson Taliska, um, the Romarino, a couple of those cards. I do think there's a little bit of potential with these cards rising up. 442. That's just crazy, man. I've been watching this guy for like the last hour and he just does not stop dropping. It's ridiculous. So just kind of keep an eye on the market. I'd be very careful holding cards right now. And if it wasn't for me trying to make up some losses, uh, then I wouldn't really be trading that much. I did buy a Coutinho at like 1.6 um, just to see if I can flip him at like 1.7 because he was down incredible amounts. I sold a lot of my La Liga out of pack specials like the Melitos. I sold all my Vinny Juniors. So I, I took some profits there. So that kind of cut into the losses a bit. But we still lost a lot of coins um, just because of how much the market dropped off. So I'm trying to make some of those coins back just because I want to be able to do a ton of upgrade packs this week and still feel like I have a lot of coins uh, up in the top left. So um, more talk about today's Sunday content though, because before we get to Monday with upgrade packs and all that fun stuff, we have today on Sunday. Now, the first thing about today on Sunday is it's Super Sunday, big day of footy, big day of Premier League football. Come on, you Spurs, fourth place, clinch it up. If you're a City fan or if you're a Liverpool fan, big games there today, of course, Arsenal fan, same. But just enjoy the football today. It's going to be a great day of football. It's been a, the, Yesterday was a great day of football as well with the league on, uh, and it's going to continue today. Now, also in FIFA today, we have new Tots cards in packs with the Liga Portugal. Now, these are predicted stats, but this is arguably between Eredivisie and Liga Portugal. These are like the top two in terms of hype for a secondary league team of the season with some of the links that we'll have in here. Darwin Nunez, right? A very, very hyped player with the potential transfer to a big club, maybe this summer. He, he's looking like he's getting a pretty good Tots card. Taremi for Porto. Rafa Uribe, Coates, Grimaldo, Pedro Porro, Otavio, uh, and Adan. So these are, these are the leaks. Like these, this is a leak for players that will be in packs today, but the stats are a prediction. So it should be a pretty nice side of Liga Portugal Tots cards dropping today on the game. I believe that is just a set of, that's 11 cards. So they're only going to field the starting 11, which is usually what they do for the secondary leagues. I believe like the... Saudi league just had 11 players. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of how I would expect it to be today too for the League of Portugal Tots. Now, also as a part of today's Sunday content, I think we're going to have another objective card, Pablo Sarabia. So we would have three 
objective items available. Fati, Navas, and Sarabia. This card looks pretty good. Um, and I think, are these predicted or, or confirmed stats? Stats are predictions. So it does boil down to the stats today, but Liga Portugal or Liga Nos is always one of the more secondary, one of the more hyped secondary TOTS leagues that will be released. Now, also, we talked about another Icon SBC. I think that's very possible today too. The 92 plus moments pack is going away. It's Sunday, right? It's Icon Upgrade SBC Day. This was repeatable two times. The reason why I don't think EA is going to do the Icon Moments player pick today is because we have another Icon Moments upgrade pack in the code. We have a 93 plus Icon Moments upgrade pack that is in the code. Now, if that is just fake and if that's just EA pulling some strings and, you know, trying to fool us, then it I guess it could be, but I really feel like that's going to be the Icon Moments upgrade that we'll see today. I mean, at this point, EA is stalling hardcore um, for on dropping that Icon Moments player pick. I mean, it's it's almost the end of May, EA Sports. You can drop the Moments player pick when Icon Moments in this game, except for a few on the top tier and a few in the middle, are really behind the curve with how insane these TOTS cards are that are getting released. So I think that's a bit of an L, honestly. A 93 plus up Moments upgrade, though. Hopefully, they make it decently cheap. I think this one was around like 550K still or maybe 600,000 coins. I think that uh, fodder though could move today with that SBC being released because some of your fodder like 88s are 15K, man. Like what? 89s are the usual price. Actually, if 88s were 21K like in March, we'd be like, oh my goodness, that's so cheap because 88s were like 35K at one point. Now they're 15 thousand coins and they are very cheap so if you want to go ahead and do a club stock or maybe invest in some fodder i think now is a pretty good time to do so just because with the, the way the content looks the past two weeks it's been the same old same old fluctuation and timing for sbc fodder you buy on a friday or a saturday or a sunday then you sell it tuesday or wednesday as the card prices go up as we get the guaranteed tots sbcs i think that's going to be another great way to make coins this week is doing a cheeky club stock again watch out for your la liga players because we've seen in the past that those la liga cards actually end up going up further in price um because they link to all the other la liga fodder that people might have in their clubs and packing from upgrade packs from packing team of the seasons starting tomorrow and monday with the upgrade packs being released i think the spc fodder is a really good look and i like the 80 83s to 86s i think you want to stay in there until they release the moments player pick, your ROI on the higher tier stuff, I mean, 88's at, at 15K. I'm like, I can't tell you to maybe do a club stock on those. Um, but I don't see these going over 20,000 coins during this week unless EA drops some sort of crazy SBC uh, today on Sunday or maybe even throughout the rest of this week. That's just kind of my opinion with those. I feel like it's the lower tier fodder that's doing the best week to week. Um, and then investing in informs as well. I really would not invest in informs right now either because informs are dirt cheap. But what EA has been doing is in a lot of these SBCs, they're requiring TOTS cards, TOTS or team of the weeks. And since so many people have TOTS cards, it's just an easy plug and play for some of those items. Now, last thing I want to talk about today is we just had a new kind of push like EA right now. And I got to talk about this for a moment because I mean, some of these objective rewards are kind of solid. You get a 100,000 coin pack. Um, for winning a bunch of draft games and you get a bunch of uh, objectives along the way, which actually today on Sunday, um, wow, you get a one of three 84 plus La Liga player if you win 23 draft matches. Crazy, 23 draft matches. That's a lot. That's a lot of foot draft. But EA have said that they have juiced the um, the weight, basically, of the 93 plus TOTS cards in draft and icon moments so if you don't have enough gameplay to grind which i feel like there's so much to grind right now with objectives with weekend league with division rivals so much stuff to grind um if you don't have enough to grind or if you have time still left over you can go into draft play with some pretty cracked out cards and get rewards that's the only w part about this is there's extra rewards in here and xp if you're playing draft i've got like eight saved up draft tokens i don't know if i'm really going to play that much in foot draft but i i have heard that there's the potential possibility to get this done um in single player draft since it's not online you could technically rubber band 28 games of single player draft or afk in draft and like you know score five goals and then you know hopefully the computer doesn't score you or a rubber band and then you don't um you know lose the game if you have a lot of time on your hands you could go ahead and do that and get these packs because i believe that the 
uh, it's between single player and online draft it works in both so a seven draft entries man I, I played like no draft this year but just if you're wanting to really grind the game that might be an opportunity where you could get a little bit ahead of the curve uh with that right there and then of course uh i think today on sunday is usually the day when they drop like the um like the cup so la liga cup we might see today the bundesliga cup is still here and i think prem cup is gone yeah prem cup is gone but bundesliga and then we should have the la liga cup today i believe which should um, be playable in the La Liga Cup game mode, which you would be doing the same grind as you did last week. I, we're supposed to get one more swap token. One more swap token is all we're due, I believe, because we have had 24 of them, and EA said that there's going to be 24 total with one extra in the store. So we are one token short today. Whether that token is going to be uh, able to be completed inside of like a La Liga Cup, if they're going to drop that, whether it's an SBC today, maybe it's inside of an objective or like uh, the, the right wing that we're expecting, Pablo Sarabia, not entirely sure, but I think we're going to get one more token. Hopefully it's today. And then like guys like myself, we have the rest of this week to finish up our tokens to get what we need to open up the packs that we are trying to uh, attain, which I'm still going to go for that 84 times 25. I just have not gotten the tokens uh, sorted for that quite yet. So that's honestly going to be the video. I know you guys know the market's dropping like mad right now. You can see that I've lost some coins, uh, not just because the coin balance is down. We've been investing a little bit as well, uh, trying to flip some cards, trying to make some money back because uh, we need coins for upgrade packs. That's the bottom line is we need coins for upgrade packs because this team is absolutely incredible. And uh, I mean, we got to pack them. We got to try to pack some of these cards. So the only worry and, the th and what I would say is be very, very careful if you're trying to trade in this market because in, in more more often than not, it, it just seems like prices are, are going to go down instead of up. And it seems like a lot of people are just hyped about these brand new La Liga Tots cards and they're not very excited about the old stuff, right? I'm going to try out a Talisca here at 440 because again, you drop down 800K in four days and I'm going to be interested in trying to flip you. So, um, yeah, just be careful with the market. That's what I would say. Like the more rare cards, uh, the better. This Joao Felix is pretty rare. I flipped one from 1.18 to 1.3, and now he's down at a million coins. Could Joao Felix go up today? Could some of the La Liga Tots cards go up, like a Modric or a Vinny or a Benzema who are down so much? They could. There could be some bounces today. But again, I would not hold cards for very long. If you're trading, take the quick flip profits and take that money because again, as of right now, it's just the, the market is a mess and all the hype is with these cards and upgrade packs and more content today could continue to see some prices slide downwards on this market. So that's gonna be the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. Good luck with your weekend league. I heard it's sweaty out there. I've not started yet, so I gotta get on it so I can get my red Vinny Jr. And go play the guitar, as I said on Twitter, I would do. Anyway, boys, it's been Nate the Vote Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>